Hello, our friends, Evolutionary Energy Arts family. Hello there. Welcome back. Welcome back, guys. As always, want to thank everybody for the support over on Patreon. All the videos go up on Patreon, and I've been trying to start to sort them into uh, different categories. We have several categories up for binge watching. If anybody wants to go deep diving down rabbit holes, um, you know, that could be... Uh, a challenging thing if you don't have playlists now so we've been developing that as patreon has been growing and we've been trying to get some organization going uh and some structure because at the moment you know they they don't have any of our channels in danger as far as being removed which evolutionary has been in danger for like five years of the seven years it's been up literally with multiple strikes and stuff now they did demonetize the last video over there um again so it has me cautious on posting certain subjects we're going to be doing a patreon exclusive um going into something that i know it would be um trouble on yt uh we also do upload to rumble radiant and bitshoot as well but when you look to the different playlists, like over here on Evolutionary, um, we have a lot on the Galactic War and the real controllers. Uh, so again, on the real controllers, who is the real control system? Because, you know, I've had that question coming from people that are coming from other big channels out there recently saying, so, you know, who is the Anunnaki? What do you mean? You know, with some... Uh, posts that I've done on other channels and, and ask answering questions. Um, so 65 videos there and then 23 videos on the Galactic War. 38 videos on a deeper look into the uh, Bible itself. And then uh, also there's some health, diet, nutrition over on Evolutionary. Now on Hearts Ohm, this is Hearts Ohm, or no, I'm sorry, this is E.E. Arts. Uh, EE Arts, you'll see 34 videos on alien species, 34 videos on giants and cryptids, breaking news 372 are showing there, um, consciousness and reality, who are we, what are we, 73 videos, channeled messages, 121 videos, um, as there are a lot of people that want to go down. Uh, and see what we've gotten from the Galactics and the Guides. Uh, 28 on going down the giant rabbit hole. Uh, 85 on the Anunnaki and the GG48 on Tataria, Atlantis, and Lemuria. And then over on Heart's Home, the newest, uh, you do have, uh, let's see here. Some of these are just starting to develop, like the understanding of the Yugas and the cycles. There's only a couple up there. Ascension 52 videos, The Real Yeshua 13, uh, Goddesses of the World 4 videos, Exploring Other Densities Dimensions 60, Spiritual Practice and Ritual 49, uh, Channel Messages 70 videos. Uh, some of them are um, parts of or the same as in uh, EE Arts. Great Teachers and Gurus 36 as far as the channeled messages go. Uh, nine on yoga, nine on biofield tuning and light code activations. We have six over uh, as far as the healing music that we are actually making ourselves. Um, and that'll be expanding as well, the ambient style of healing music with, and that <clears throat> in reality um, also has the biofield tuning going in the background. Uh, meditations 14 and 45 on mantras and there's also uh, eight eight short videos on how to pronounce the mantras so I just wanted to cover all that for you that are into the binging mode and or into one target in specific well it, it's so helpful to round yourself off when you're just waking up and you realize the world that you thought you were in is well it, it's not what it is so it, it's helpful Mm -hmm. Absolutely. This is a big question. Why are some major artists suddenly canceling shows and in some cases entire tours? Well, why didn't uh, certain people, uh, certain offices, office workers show up to certain offices, I should say, on the day of 9-11? 
<laughs> you know, it could be kind of related. Yeah. Now, this news article, of course, mainstream NBC, several reasons to point to, but mostly saying economic feasibility. Um, the average, I, I can't imagine this, the average ticket price to a concert is like $262 nowadays. Holy cow. I, I think the most I've spent for a concert ever was you know maybe uh, it's two digits yeah, yeah. <laughs> not three digits not you know maybe ninety dollars maybe uh i i don't even think that i mean I remember going as kids it was always 20 bucks or something i know those days are long gone but still economic feasibility is what most uh of this article is trying to push but that wouldn't uh, that wouldn't explain a lot of other things too because we've had a lot of other things going on. We've had a lot of people leaving the earth, apparently. You know, you had Jacob Rothschild. Yes, he was up there in age. Um, but you had a lot of other people dying suddenly. And we do understand that's a problem on this planet at this point in time. But also a lot of people mysteriously... Uh, just seeming to disappear you have the royals canceling everything and you know again kate middleton's not going to be seen in public we had a lot of symbolism with that running horse and everything too uh, uh yeah yeah that's a, that's a cute one isn't it mm -hmm. mm. um and by the way with kate middleton too you have Two weeks before Kate Middleton was last seen, Darren Brown tweeted that he had met Kate at the Royal Variety. She pressed a tiny piece of folded paper into his palm with the word help written inside. Yeah, everything does get weirder and weirder and weirder. And you have a whole bunch of politicians, a massive amount, that are not looking to re-up their political lives. In fact, they seem to be bailing. Ah, yes. You know, there is something big going on. And this is some footage of politicians leaving Parliament. And I thought it was very apt. Is it simply that the rats are leaving the ship? Is it simply that the rats know the ship is taking on water and it's sinking? And they are trying to get the heck off that ship before they're pulled down with the ship to the bottom of the ocean? Certainly feels like it. Certainly feels like definitely there's something going on that um, we have inklings of, but they're being told things. They're more privy to it so they can make better plans. And that's, you know, kind of leaves us to uh, work with each other and help each other and figure figure things out in a way that we may have never had to do before. But We'll see. I mean, this is this is why we stay prepared because we cannot trust the controllers who are at the helm, those who are steering the ship. We we can't stand for their. We can't uh, count on their moral character to remain solid. If if there's trouble, if there's trouble on the ship, they're just going to bail. It, it's easy for them. It doesn't bother them one bit. For them, it's just. You know, let me let me get over here and let everyone else just drown on their own. But, you know, we've been preparing for something a little bit off for a very long time. Yeah, and we are in that critical time frame. It does feel like this June of 2024 is going to be very significant. What will develop? We'll have to see. Um, but for sure, as you see this article from Zero Hedge, you have Rand Paul warning of war in the streets coming from uh, the verdict with 45. And yeah, that that is certainly going to be part of uh, the chaos. You, you have still the situation over in Israel and Gaza, which is, you know, can, uh, it's a tinderbox. Absolutely. You have the Ukrainian situation. It's just a black hole. Um, and this abyss of global war uh, right there. And at the same time, you have strife internally being um, stoked, <laughs> fanning the flames of that internal strife in the U.S. as well. It's just, it, it's getting to the boiling point. And this is what 
the uh, the real control system is is trying to do they're always um, spraying a little gas here and then walking around later on and and dropping matches or cigarette butts because they're trying to kindle this uh, so that we do it ourselves it's all about avoiding uh, the karmic repercussions the law of cause and effect is very very real and so they get us to do it to ourselves in fact you know when you look at the system in place on the planet it's all about that it really is when you you know sign off on your taxes when you sign off on anything that is legal and binding uh, how many of you actually read every single little word probably nobody maybe one or two out of a thousand read every single little word in a in a contract they get us with that minutia because again this is how they get us uh to alleviate their karmic repercussions because hey <laughs> you agree to it hey you know you asked for it even in so many ways by by again voting for one or the other of their puppets it is acknowledging the authority of the system it's when the masses ignore the system in its entirety that the system will wither and die. You know, it's when you turn to your neighbor and go work with your neighbor instead of um, going and getting that thing at the store. It's when we've really, really had enough and we've been completely fed up with the system doing what it does to us and understanding that it's all to provoke a, a nasty reaction out of you. It's us realizing that we have all the control in the world of how we respond to these situations um making that system null and void you know i i stopped voting a long time ago i think honestly in my whole life i i voted one time and that's because somebody somebody just was really 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 pressuring me and i didn't want to deal with the wrath if i didn't so i did and that was a long time ago i mean years and years and years and years and years ago but I, I didn't believe in voting then. Um, there, what's the point? Because everything is already written out. It's a waste of my time. It's a waste of my energy. I have better things to do. Um, there's definitely more to life than voting on something that's just completely hollow, that's, that's a facade, something that has no depth or no, no moral validity to it in any way, shape, or form. So it's, it's up to us now. I mean, we really have to decide. It's like being in a really nasty, nasty, negative relationship and deciding, have you had enough yet? And which direction are you going to go? Because I, I realize we can't just jump out of the system. I mean, everyone is tied in and that's deliberate. But we can look at the things um, that we can walk away from. We can look at the things that are supporting the system and do something a little bit different, transform that into something that we like because we still have choices within the system. We still have choices of how we spend our money, where we spend our money, um, who we decide to support and how we decide to support them. Those things we can control and we can do things um without giving those controllers so much of our so much of ourself yeah absolutely absolutely and so here you see bill maher has predicted that if 45 is sentenced to prison time civil war that will evolve into a war of this variety you know what we have to realize is the entirety of the human race is being manipulated it's way beyond uh, divisions within the human race it, it, it's homo sapiens sapiens that's being manipulated by being divided amongst itself and what you have is this you know quote-unquote political leadership that is is simply there to keep us divided it's it's just so obvious to so many and then yet we still have so many um, that are just abjectly clueless, completely clueless, uh, totally zombified, and don't have even the slightest inkling of the real reality that is there. It's just beyond them. And, and I think often it's the case that you have people like that that are so divested into the system 
and value that of the system above even their own freedom, which is hard to fathom for most of us, that's for sure. So this is a big swarm we have ongoing in uh, Hawaii. 306 of 502 quakes on the planet are right now in Hawaii. Uh, most are very shallow. I saw one that was about 38 kilometers. Otherwise, you're looking at you know, two, three kilometers or less. Um, so this feels like movement of magma. Wouldn't be surprised at all if there was some other, uh, some sort of eruption going on. Now, I didn't feel any red flags coming on this one. I, I feel like it's a natural thing that she's just releasing. Um, but we'll see, you know, sometimes things turn different quickly, but I, I didn't feel anything dire. I, I felt natural movement and natural releasing. Um, so I, I'm hoping that's that's going to just continue on. And we are walking into that time period that the guides had warned us about with the potential on the timeline that we were on a year and a half ago uh, to have the war break out in earnest and also um, some more larger eruptive events going on in places that we haven't seen yet. So, you know, there's some curious quakes. This is a 4.9 up in Canada. Uh, Alaska does get a lot of swarming. This one on the Mid-Atlantic Ridge, 5.9. That's a little bit large. You'll see um, often, you know, fours and fives here. This is basically more than likely it was a six right on the Mid-Atlantic Ridge. So keep an eye and, um, you know, just be aware of what's, going on out there we've had so much flooding going on 5.8 over in japan as well 4.8 uh, kilometers deep and uh, speaking of flooding and fires you have fire crews in california battling massive wildfire about 60 miles east of san francisco that was forcing evacuations and then heavy rain has caused severe flooding in southern Germany, in Bavaria and Baden-Württemberg. Several municipalities declared states of emergency. Even dams uh, have been overloaded and reports of dams breaking. So again, uh, beginning stages of the mud flood, perhaps, perhaps it does seem that it happens more often than not. History is a huge lie, a very, very, very large lie. Look at the size of that, if that is what we think it is. Um, wow, how big would that being be? Big. <laughs> you know, we, we really like uh, Roger over at Mud Fossil. He, he brings up some really curious information, and the parallels that he brings to us are just... To me, they're like, duh, you know, it's like, yeah, that's that's exactly what's going on. And, you know, I think Dr. Uh, Claudia Al Alburn, I'm, I'm sorry, Albers. Albers, um, she, you know, both going to school and both understanding that, hey, something's not right here. And they get out of the school and they start telling the truth. I mean, we need more people like that. And this poor kitty's doing what he can to um, get out of his situation. Uh, I feel bad for him. You know, to me, this is the perfect analogy for, for voting in the political system, for taking sides in, in the political system and, and believing that it's actually real. It is like just hitting yourself in the head repeatedly, uh, never getting anywhere. You're certainly not getting out of the box with this system. No, I mean, it, your vote does not count. <laughs> it's just to make you feel better. It's, you know, putting you through the moves to make you think that you are making a difference. But really, I mean, the decision has already been made. We control what comes out of our own self. We control what goes on in our home. We control our response to things. And with that, that's how we move forward. Absolutely. Absolutely. As always, guys, thanks so much for your support. Stay prepared. Have backups to your backup. Uh, absolutely, the weather itself, just the weather alone, uh, with all the geoengineering and the craziness and the awakening of the planet to that aspect, uh, is enough to stay prepared. You know, and make sure that you know you have a generator, you touch base with with your neighbors, um, because it's obviously going to be a bumpy road ahead. Source bless and namaste. Namaste.